Could you also share a couple of case studies or like uh, stories of apps that improve the user engagement by creatively using a, a user engagement tool? Uh, yes, I actually could. Uh, so because I, as part of customer success, uh, I've had the good fortune of actually working with certain clients uh, on both like projects which are not so deep okay uh, and plus projects which are like fairly deep right so one example that comes to my mind is uh, a large you know surface transportation company from the us so i i did this really exhaustive consulting project with them where uh, they basically realized that uh, the end users of that application are actually truck owners and truck drivers right they're broadly called as carriers okay in the united states yeah, yeah, yeah. so it was an app meant for carriers and uh, many great things about that app many good features but uh, they realized engagement is slightly on the downward trend right so when we worked with them uh, we were luckily given the freedom to uh, like probe and explore areas that define and influence user engagement right so we were given that freedom okay so as part of that project we worked on uh, really going to the table drawing board and again like doing the whole core value prop exercise okay and uh, i was really impressed with the management because they they had the courage to acknowledge that they should tinker with the core value prop and and take it to a next level right so we spent about three months can you believe that like going back and forth you know uh, and finally they fixed it okay so that actually elevated the user engagement uh, right out of the bat okay so that's one story and and i i draw a lot of inspiration from such companies okay right, who with that mindset right right uh, the second uh, second story or case study that i have is uh, a sports company from the united states okay again actually they use upshot uh, now the core value prop was awesome okay it was already like really well done mm. and it was driving its own reasonable level of engagement just on its own mm. so in our earlier uh, terminology there was a good pull effect already right so the question that uh, when we worked with them the question they asked is can we increase the pull can we do something which can just take this one notch above okay now the work in the core value prop was done right so we only had to explore extra things for example could you could you first could you do something that's related to the app and the theme and the topic but which is not directly like uh, it's not it doesn't feel like marketing okay right so we have to take like a sort of a non marketing but still very much engaging type of a tack we had to take mm -hmm. that's what we identified uh, collaboratively right so what we after a lot of discussions what we realized is that uh, there is one trend we see in the world which is that many apps uh, tend to capitalize on some real world event and leverage it for the purpose of engagement and marketing right a good example comes to mind is like uh, swiggy Zomato. recently started the cricket cards correct you have to complete a collection and so on like zomato has zpl yeah a lot of these things this is a fairly common trend right uh, so we took inspiration from this trend but the client challenged us to make sure that it's not really uh, like uh, around one particular real world event because guess what that event is over Right. sooner or later it gets over and then you you don't have relevance anymore right so we took a leaf out of that book but instead we decided okay how can we make this an ongoing thing independent of like the seasonal ups and downs of uh, so we decided maybe it's a good idea to start something once a week give people something fun to do which is again related to the theme of the app Like it can't just be something disconnected, right? Mm. And keep that going 
So it's the same day of the week, the same time. Every time it's a different fun activity being given to the users. Okay. And we saw that by carefully designing those activities, the users not only experienced regular ongoing engagement every week, mm. irrespective of whether they purchase anything or not. Right. So this, this is a great example because we could create a layer of engagement that is not related to purchase, which is not pressurizing people to purchase. Right. But which sort of slips under the radar because it ultimately is about the app's theme. Right. Correct. Correct. So engaging there actually pushes the knowledge of the users forward. They get to know more about uh, the kind of players they like and they discover new players and etc. etc. So what does that translate into? The short term is you get an you get a nice boost in engagement, right? Which is completely free of uh, purchase pressures. Second is it gives them ideas to check out products that are available related to these players right okay so it actually does drive purchases but in a sort of a very roundabout very subtle manner and this was a great example because this comes from that first kind of like pull sort of a philosophy correct right? how That's can what it is about to say ki a lot of companies are actually trying to do this yes yeah to keep, yes. keep it as, as organic as possible yeah in fact all the conversations that we have with many prospective customers now right. is uh, is majority of the customers are like we have a good app we have good organic engagement already there is a reasonable pull Correct. already hmm. how can you help us to take it to the next level and i love those questions because it opens up such a creative area of options right right, right. and especially platforms like upshot hmm. we are here exactly for that kind of a, a crowd correct right who want to look to do something different, who want to look to break out of the usual, uh, you know, the hygiene of let's do notifications or let's send yeah. emails. I mean, that's that's great. But I think today it has entered the entered the category of hygiene, right? Right. So we love to work with people, those who are aiming for a little bit of extra. Mm. Some spice, you know, in India we say tadka. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So that's really 